Hey guys, this is Joey Davidson, the Senior Gaming Editor at Technobuffalo.com, and I'm here with a look at the Rayman Legends Challenge app for the Wii U. Yeah! Alright, I've personally been calling this thing the Rayman Legends Apology app. <laughs> it's This is what Ubisoft released in the wake of their delay, and decision to make this no longer a Wii U exclusive. So so Rayman Legends, let's let's back up just a little bit. Rayman Legends was initially announced as a Wii U exclusive. Uh, this game was going to release in, I believe, February of this year. So that's still in that weird launch window that Nintendo declared for the Wii U. Um, and it was going to be exclusively available to Wii U owners. And after Rayman Origins, that wonderful game that if you can find it, it's, it's pretty cheap. I think it's sitting anywhere from 15 to $20, and it released on every platform under the sun a couple years ago. It's a great platformer, and this was the follow-up, and news of it being a Wii U exclusive was huge for Nintendo. Honestly, the Wii U is devoid of games right now, and that's Nintendo's biggest problem. I mean, dismiss every other complaint about the system. I know that, that those complaints are legitimate, but the biggest problem for the Wii U is its complete lack of first-party and third-party software. Rayman Legends was going to be... Uh, another addition to the library. So what you're what you're seeing here is the Rayman Legends Challenge app. They decided to release this as an apology to fans to kind of hold them over for the new release date now that this is no longer a Wii U exclusive and coming in I think August of this year uh, to the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and of course the Wii U. The Challenge app is, as you see me goof here, basically this is free which is amazing news. Um, Every single day, it's going to give you a brand new challenge. This is today's challenge, the day of recording. Uh, and, and that challenge can be brief, it can be a little bit long. The previous challenge uh, made use of the gamepad where you touched enemies and stuff, and you'll see me do something like that a little bit down the line. Um, I think I'm actually going to do that right now. But the whole deal here is that you're competing with other players in order to get the best runs, the best times, the fastest completion rates, the fastest collection rates... And you unlock stuff like additional heroes, which is what you're seeing right now. And of course, you've got Globox, one of my favorites from the original game. I decided to switch back to Globox. <laughs> He's so goofy. <laughs> I decided to switch back to Globox and retake the, the daily challenge. And all of this stuff works towards unlocking more levels, more free playable content. And it's all randomly generated, all of the challenges, and it's going to be fresh every single day. Then there's going to be a weekly challenge. So you compete in order to unlock new trophies and register on the world scale. So right now you're seeing me run this, and I'm trying to do it as fast as I can. I don't think I break 24 seconds in this, in this recording for this quick run. And I'm looking at the leaderboard, and people are getting it done in like 17 seconds. I'm not going to suggest that I'm amazing at Rayman Legends, but I'm okay. How people are doing it in 17 seconds, I have no idea. You just saw a pretty a pretty flawless run there, and I don't break 26 seconds. Uh, ridiculous. So if you want to feel bad about yourself while playing this game, that, that's the ticket. Honestly, I think this is a great move by Ubisoft. Uh, I don't think that it's going to satiate all the frustration that came from fans, but it, it is nice that the content is completely free. Uh, but speaking as a, a Rayman Origins fan, as I mentioned before, it is really great to be able to have access to these levels, but I can't help but feel that I would so much rather just have the full game. <laughs> it's nice that this is free, I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth, but I, I just wish Ubisoft had decided to release it on the Wii U in February like they promised. But, and here's some, some side news that kind of comes aside from this video. The developers, Ubisoft Montreal, have announced that they've already added 30 additional levels and brand new boss fights to the game in the wake of the delay. So all that extra time wasn't for naught. We are going to get more content to the game, and that's fantastic. I just... My Wii U is collecting dust from day to day when I'm not when I'm not able to play games, and Rayman Legends would have been something that pushed it over the edge. This is the weekly challenge. Uh, it is a Wii U gamepad-controlled level. Um, I'm not actually going to show the gamepad because what you see on the screen is the same thing that I see on the gamepad, so it's it's nothing different at all. Basically, I'm controlling Murphy. He's the fairy that you're going to see popping in and out of the screen there. 
uh, and my job is to highlight the loomies, I think they're called, in order for them to be worth double, and I want to get to 150 as fast as possible. Uh, on this weekly challenge, I actually played it a bit yesterday. It's, it's really hard, and again, people are able to do it so much better than I am. I just feel terrible about this. The touchscreen stuff is fun. Um, I definitely prefer the more traditional controller-based platforming. That's what made Rayman Origins so special, but playing this on a multiplayer basis, like local couch co-op, where one of us is rocking the, the gamepad and someone else has the, the regular Wii remote, that'd be nice. Uh, but as it is now, I'm, I'm not complaining. It's fun. So, like I said, this is completely free. If you are a Wii U owner, you can actually download this from the, the eShop right now. It will cost you nothing. It's going to be available up until the game releases. So between now and, and that date in late August, I think it's the 27th for North America and the 30th for European regions, this app will be available and new levels and challenges will be released every single day. Every single day between now and then. That's awesome. So thank you guys for watching. This is Joey Davidson for Technobuffalo.com and we'll be back with more game content down the line.